father was honored and surprised with the Monument Park plaque. What did that mean to him and your family? Well, we knew a, uh, a month prior to going that they were going to do something. They, they didn't elaborate into detail on exactly what they were going to do, but we knew it was special enough that they were going to invite the family. And, uh, you know, we had to get the blessing from our doctor and uh, to allow my dad to go. So all the way up to the point that they, to the time that they called him on the field, he was still oblivious to what was going on. In fact, he, you know, he was over talking to, uh, to Monaghan, and he, he felt like he had been left out. So we were kind of chuckling behind the scene. We were over in the, uh, they were playing the Tigers that day, and we were kind of hanging out and hiding in that dugout and knew what was going on at that point and what they were going to do. Uh, very emotional for the family, and, and obviously I'm sure you heard, heard the speech. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it was a great day. It was a great day in his life. And it lifted him up. You know, he's had some down times and it's been a rough go for him. And that was a special day. Something he'll remember the rest of his life and whatever he has. Today in this stadium, there is no one that's happier to be here on this field than myself. <laughs> that was a very special moment and a great moment for him. It was, and he meant it. You know, my dad's uh, a man of little words uh, for, for everybody that knows him. And, and when he speaks, he has always demanded the respect or got the respect from his players and, and whoever he's speaking to. Well, this is beyond a doubt the biggest surprise I've ever had. I can tell you that was a very, it was an unscripted. Uh, in fact, I told him when we unveiled the plaque, I said, hey, Pops, you got to go up and make a speech. And uh, so that was, that was from his heart. New York, you know, the people, the fans, uh, the Mets, the Yankees, everybody has been very, very good to my, to my Pops, to our family. And, uh, you know, that, that day was special for him to, to stand in front of the crowd and, and let, let, let them know that. So, uh, again, it caught him off guard. Uh, I thought it was an awesome speech from his heart, and it touched a lot of people. How did you and your family keep that secret from him? Obviously, you guys said that you didn't know exactly what was going to happen, but it's pretty impressive for a month. <laughs> the most impressive part was knowing that my, my son, my youngest son, and actually my daughter, who have very big mouths at Christmas, they seem to always give me hints on, on what we're getting from Christmas from my wife. But uh, so yeah, the biggest task was was making sure that that the boys didn't tweet it or Facebook it, uh, along with my daughter. But yeah, it, you know, it was it was tough. And again, until that moment happened, uh, we kind of had to keep our emotions in check and not get too far ahead of ourselves, not knowing if Dad was going to make it. Mm -hmm. Uh, just because of, of everything that's gone on. And when we found out that, that he was going to go, you know, I got the blessing from the Diamondbacks to take the time off. They were gracious enough to let me, let me do that with my pops. And, uh, you know, and then it, it all unfolded. And I got, I got to say, the, you know, the, not only the New York people, but the New York Yankees, the way that they uh, treated all their, their people that came in for, for that thing is uh, first class. And what was going on in your mind when you saw the look on your father's face, that just look of surprise? Have you well, seen that before? Uh, no. No, I haven't. Uh, nothing seems to phase my dad. You know, he seems to handle, keeps his emotions in check all the time. He's never one to, to cry in front of us. Uh, was, was always that kind of man's man and can stand up and, and, and take a lot of, lot of lickings. And, and, it, and it got him. You know, emotionally, it, it touched him, and uh, and we knew that. And I could tell, I could tell he was fighting it. You know, he was holding back a lot. So, and as we all were, you know, it, it's uh, he did a lot of good things there in New York. And and you know, my dad, he's never one to really take credit or, you know, one that wants to be praised for anything that that he's done, because he always made it about other people and about players. So, the fact that they were. Recognizing him for for what he's done and who he was as a person was was special. And does he tell you how proud he is of you to continue again, that name, the number, all the time, you know. And and uh, along the way, growing up, you know, there was the tough talks and uh, the stern talks and the repercussions. But the one thing about my dad is, when uh, when any of us boys ever did anything good, he was there to praise us. So he he's proud of certainly of my brother Todd's career that he had as a pitcher and uh, the fact that his other son is, you know, uh, had lots of injuries mm -hmm. as a pitcher and, and wasn't able to, to make a long career out of that. But 
to, to be able to follow in his footsteps as a coach. He's, he's very proud. Thank you very much to the greatest fans in baseball.